Hello, and welcome to Reading Through the Bible in a Year. I'm Eric. I'm Linda. And we're, today we're reading in the Old Testament on day 344, uh, Hosea chapter 1, 2, 3, and 4. And it's really snowy and cold, and I'm cold. And in Revelations chapter 1. And here in Revelation chapter 1, I'm so easy. Well, let's, let's open in prayer. Okay. Father in heaven, we praise you and thank you for giving us the strength and the wisdom and what did we had to do today. And we thank you that we got those things accomplished. And uh, we just are very appreciative of this, Lord. And we look to you, Lord, for the reading of your word. We pray, Lord, that you would open our eyes of understanding and our ears that we may hear that which you want to speak to us through the reading of your word this day. Bless all who join in with us, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Sure turn to my foot. Hosea's Wife and Children, Chapter 1. The word of the Lord, which came to Hosea the son of Biri, during the days of Uzziah, Joham, Ahaz and Hezekiah, kings of Judah, and during the days of Jeroboam, the son of Joash, king of Israel. When the Lord first spoke through Hosea, the Lord said to Hosea, Go take to yourself a wife of harlotry, and have children of harlotry, and have children of... Okay, for the land commits flagrant harlotry, forsaking the Lord. So he went and took Gomer, the daughter of... Diblium, and she conceived and bore him a son. And the Lord said to him, Name him Jezreel, for yet a little while, and I will punish the house of Jehu for the bloodshed of Jezreel, and I will put an end to the kingdom of the house of Israel. And it will come about on that day that I will break the bowl of Israel in the valley of Jezreel. Then she conceived again and gave birth to a daughter. And the Lord said to him, Name her lo ra -ha -ma, Hama, for I will no longer have compassion on the house of Israel, that I should ever forgive them. But I will have compassion on the house of Judah, and deliver them by the Lord their God, and will not deliver them by bow, sword, battle, horse, or horsemen. When she had weaned li ra lo ru -hama, she conceived and gave birth to a son. And the Lord said to name him uh, lo Ami, for you are not my people, and I am not your God. Verse 10. Verse 10. Yet the number of the people of Israel shall be like the sand of the sea, which can be neither measured nor numbered. And in the place where it was said to them, You are not my people, it shall be said to them, Sons of the living God and the people of Judah, and the people of Israel shall be gathered together, and they shall appoint for themselves one head, and they shall go up from the land, for great shall be the day of Jezreel. Jezreel. Chapter 2. Say to your brothers, Ami and your sisters, Rahama, content with your mother, content with for she is not my wife, and I am not her husband. And let her put away her harlotry from her face, and her adultery from between her breasts, lest I strip her naked and expose her as on the day when she was born. And I will also make her like a, winder, a wilderness, make her like a desert land, and slay her with thirst. Also I will have no compassion on her children, because they are children of harlotry. For their mother has played the harlot. She has conceived them, has acted shamefully. For she said, I will go after my lovers, who give me my bread and my water, my wool and my flax, my oil and my drink. Therefore, behold, I will hedge up her way with thorns, and I will build a wall against her, so that she cannot find her path. And she will pursue her lovers, but she will not overtake them. And she will seek them, but will not find them. Then she will say, I will go back to my first husband, for it was better for me then than now. Verse 8. And she did not know that it was I who gave her the grains, the wine, and the oil, 
and you lavished upon her silver, gold, which they used for Baal. Therefore I will take back my grain in its time, and my wine in its season, and I will take away my wool and my flax, which were to cover her nakedness. Now I will uncover her lewdness in the sight of her lovers, and no one shall rescue her out of my hand, and I will put an end to all her mirth, for her feasts, her new moons, and her sabbaths, and all her appointed feasts, and I will lay waste her vines, and her fig trees, of which she said, These are my heir, which is my lovers, my lovers have given to me. And I will make them a forest, and the beasts of the field shall devour them. And I will punish her for the feast days of the Baals, when she burned incense to them, and decked herself with her rings and her jewelry, and went after her lovers, and forgot me, says the Lord. Therefore, behold, I will allure her. Bring her into the wilderness, and speak kindly to her. Then I will give her her vineyard from there, and the valley of Asher as a doorful. And she will sing there as in the days of her youth, as in the days when she came up from the land of Egypt. And it will come about in that day, declares the Lord, that you will call me Ishi, and will no longer call me Bali. For I, am re I will remove the names of the bowels from her mother, her mouth, pardon me, so that they will be mentioned by their names no more. In that day I will also make a covenant for them with the beasts of the field and the birds of the skies and the creeping things of the ground, and I will abolish bow, the sword, the war from the land, and will make them lie down in safety, and I will betroth you to my, me forever. Yes, I will betroth you to me in righteousness and in justice, in loving kindness and in compassion. And I will bestow you, betroth you to me in faithfulness. Then you will know the Lord. 21. And in that day, says the Lord, I will answer the heavens, and they shall answer the earth. And the earth shall answer the grain, and the wine, and the oil, and they shall answer Jezreel. And I will show him for myself in the land, and I will have pity on not, on not pitied, which I don't understand what that means. And I will say to not my people, you are my people. <clears throat> and he shall say, thou art my God. Chapter 3, Hosea's second symbolic marriage. Then the Lord said to me, go again, love a woman who is loved by her husband, yet an adulteress, even as the Lord loves the son of Israel, though they turn to other gods and love raisin cakes. So I bought her for myself for 15 shekels of silver and a, a homer and a half of barley. Then I said to her, you shall stay with me for many days. You shall not play the harlot, the harlot nor shall you have a man, so I will also be towards you. For the sons of Israel will remain for many days without king or prince, without sacrifice or sacred pillar, and without ephod or household idols. Afterwards the sons of Israel will return and seek the Lord their God and David their king, and they will come trembling to the Lord and to his goodness in the last days. Mm. Chapter 4. A little bit on. Hear the word of the Lord, O people of Israel. For the Lord has controversy with the inhabitants of the land. There is no faithfulness or kindness, and no knowledge of God in the land. There is swearing, lying, killing, stealing, and committing adultery. They break all bonds, and murderers follow murderers. Therefore the land mourns, and all who dwell in it languish, and also the beasts of the field, and the birds of the air, and even the fish of the sea are taken away. Yet no one contend, and no one accuse, for which with you is my contention, O priests. You shall stumble by day, the prophet also shall stumble with you by night, and I will destroy your mother. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge, because you have rejected knowledge. I reject you from being a priest to me, and since you have forgotten the law of your God, I also will forget your children. Verse 7. 
or so. The more they multiply, the more they sinned against me. I will change their glory into shame. They feed in the sin of my people and direct their desire towards their iniquity. And it will be like people, like priests. So I will punish them for their ways and repay them for their deeds. And they will eat, but not have enough. They will play the harlot, but not increase, because they have stopped giving heed to the Lord. Verse 11. Wine and new wine take away the understanding. My people inquire of a thing of wood, and their staff gives them oracles. For the spirit of harlotry has led them astray, and they have left their God to play the harlot. They sacrifice on the tops of the mountains and make offerings upon the hills, under oak poplar and terebin, because their, their shade is good. Therefore your daughters play the harlot and your brides commit adultery. I will not punish your daughters when they play the harlot, nor your brides when they commit adultery, for the men themselves go aside with harlots and sacrifice with the cult prostitutes. And the people without understanding shall come to ruin. Verse. Though you, Israel, play the harlotry, do not let Judah become guilty. Also, do not go to Gilgal or go up to Bethlehem, Bethlehem and take the oath as the Lord lives. That's the oath, as the Lord lives. Since Israel is stubborn, like a stubborn heifer, can the Lord now pasture them like a lamb in a large field? Ephraim is joined to idols, let him alone. Their liquor gone, they play the harlot continually. Their rules dear, the rulers dearly love shame. The, the wind wraps them in its wings, and they will be ashamed because of their sacrifices. It's sad to be a prophet indeed, having to marry women who are adulterous, and see them abandon their children and so forth. It's hard, a job being prophet. Now we're turning to the book of Revelation, and it's another prophecy. Another book of, of mysteries. Many, okay. many mysteries. Revelation chapter 1. The revelation of Jesus Christ, which God gave him to show to his servants what must soon take place. And he made it known by sending his angel to his servant John, who bore witness to the word of God and to the testimony of Jesus Christ, even to all that he saw. Blessed is he who reads aloud the words of this prophecy, and blessed are those who hear and who keep what is written therein, for the time is near. John, to the seven churches that are in Asia, grace to you and peace from him who is and who was and who is to come, and from the seven spirits who are before his throne, and from Jesus Christ the faithful witness, the firstborn of the dead and the ruler of kings of the earth, to him who loves us and re released us from our sins by his blood. And he has made us to be a kingdom, priest to his God and Father. To him be the glory and the dominion forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Eight. Amen. I am the Alpha and the Omega, says the Lord God, who is and who was and who is to come, the Almighty. I, John, your brother, who share with you in Jesus the tribulation and the kingdom and the patient endure, endurance, was on this island of Patmos on account of the word of God and the testimony of Jesus. I was in the Spirit on the Lord's day, and I heard behind me a loud voice like a trumpet, saying, Write what you see in a book and send it to the seven churches to the Ephesians, and to the Sumerians, and to the Pergamon, and to the Thyatira, oh, yeah. and the Sardis, and to the Philadelphians, and to the Lasodians. Verse 12. And I turned and saw the voice that was speaking with me. And having turned, I saw seven golden lampstands. And in the middle of the lampstand, one like a son of man, clothed in a robe, reaching to the feet, and girded across his breast with a golden girdle, and his head and his hair were white like white wool, like snow, and his eyes were like a flame of fire, and his feet were like burnished bronze, when it was when it has been caused to glow in the furnace, and his voice was like the sound of many waters, and in his right hand he held seven stars, 
and out of his mouth came a sharp two-edged sword, and his face was like the sun shining in its strength. And when I saw him, I fell at his feet as a dead man, and he laid his right hand upon me, saying, Do not be afraid, I am the first and the last, and the living one. And I was dead, and behold, I am alive forevermore. And I have the key of death and of hate. Write there for the things which you have seen, and the things which are, and the things which shall take place after these things. As for the mystery of the seven stars, which you saw in my right hand, and the seven golden lampstands, the seven stars are the angels of the seven churches, and the seven lampstands are the seven churches. And thus ends the reading of chapter 1 of Revelation. Let's think about how it says, this is the revelation of Jesus Christ which God gave him. Well, if God gave him a message, that means Jesus would be a prophet because he's sharing what God told him, what the prophets did, right? Mm -hmm. Well, then it says, now John is sharing what Jesus told him, so that makes John like a prophet, right? Because he's writing it down to share what Jesus told him. So it's like a prophet teaching the prophet to tell us and warn us about the end of time. Mm. Mm. Only he's the son of God as well as a prophet. Well, somewhere Jesus I was taught when I was in Bible college that he's a prophet, a priest, and a king. So this is where he's a prophet, I guess, whenever he quotes God. Yeah. We see it all, we saw it all through the New Testament where he's quoting God. Mm. Anyways, very interesting. What time have we got? We have got. Seen some minutes, so we're doing all right tonight. Yeah. Yeah. So, it well, goes, guys, uh, we're into Revelation. Yeah, and Hosea's. Yeah. Like Linda says, it's a pretty hard job being a being a, a prophet. Often they're really lonely, and uh, extraordinary people are usually uniquely different. Uh, so that people know, people are afraid of prophets quite often, and angry at them. Um, be an interesting calling, I'll tell you. Anyways, thank you so much once again for your faithfulness. Very interesting reading. Reading the very last book of the Bible. It comes with a blessing. And that's good. It's good to receive a blessing when we read this book. So if you read along with us, you'll receive a blessing as will we for sharing it. So yeah. go your way, be blessed, and know that God loves you. Yeah, for sure he will.